Uçak gidiyor uçak. Abi dur. Duman çıkıyor. Gene yakaladık. Justin Turkey says it shot down a Russian military jet which it says violated its airspace near the Syrian border. Both the Russian Defense Ministry and Turkish Presidency have confirmed that the plane was indeed Russian. Amateur footage has emerged of the incident. There have also been reports that the plane was shot at from the ground. Turkey says the pilots were given prior warning. The plane went down in hostile Syrian territory and the fate of the two pilots is unknown. According to some media reports, the pilots were able to parachute safely to the ground and that two Turkish helicopters were sent to retrieve them. There are also reports that they've been captured by Syrian rebels and some reports indicate one was captured and the other retrieved. It's not clear what the repercussions of this incident will be, but it's a worrying development. Russia has been carrying out airstrikes against ISIL militants in Syria. We'll be following that story for you throughout the day. Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Green. You're tuning into AMTV Alternative Media Television. It is Tuesday, November 24, 2015. Russian downed jet. A huge provocation. Do not underestimate the seriousness of this. Woke up this morning, many of you probably did, to a breaking headline which noticeably put a bid on oil prices and the commodity sector in general that a Russian jet was shot down by the Turkish Air Force. Turkey, a member of NATO, is a proxy for the United States. So it might have as well been the United States. This is how the headline should have read. United States shoots down Russian jet. United States shoots down Russian plane. Now allegedly the jet was kind of hightailing it along the Syrian-Turkish border. And again, Turkey, a member of NATO, an ally of the United States, shoots down this plane. Now this is extremely serious. This reminds me of kind of those events throughout history that we see from time to time that catalyzes the great event. You know, it's not the single thing that starts the war, but it's kind of like the last straw that broke the camel's back. You know, it's like when Ferdinand was shot or the Gulf of Tonkin pre the entrance of Vietnam, a very well-known declassified false flag event. I personally think that this was a chess move that the United States just made. I think that the higher-ups were sitting in a boardroom and they said, you know what, let's shoot down through Turkey, our ally, this Russian jet, and see what happens. Let's see how Vladimir Putin responds. Now, according to reports, the two pilots were able to eject. One is allegedly dead. The other one, they're still investigating. They don't know if he's been taken on the ground. Maybe he's been killed. Maybe he's being held hostage. We don't really know. So we have conflicting reports. Turkey says that this plane had entered Turkish airspace repeatedly up to 10 times before shooting it down. Putin says, and Russian media says this is entirely not true, and the plane went down in Syria. It was well within its reach and well within the border of Syria, where there is a raging global proxy war occurring at this very moment in history. So folks, this is a huge provocation. These again are the type of events that catalyze, it's again that straw that breaks the camel's back, that then pushes forward a series of events that leads to war. Now Putin's got to respond now, and so let's think about that for a minute. How will Putin respond to this? Because he's a far superior intellect intellectual, far superior intellectual than the West, than Barack Obama. I mean, he, he makes Obama look like a freaking child, honestly. So how is Putin, a very smart, tactical, geopolitical chess player, going to respond to this? And believe me, he will respond aggressively. I don't think he's going to respond overtly. I think he's going to respond covertly much the same way that the U.S. just egged on the Russian bear with the shooting down of this jet. And again, I think several individuals, generals, president, our allies within NATO were in a boardroom earlier. They said, let's shoot down this plane and egg Russia on. Because again, 
America needs to justify this illegal war. They need to justify arming the terrorists on the ground to take out their enemy in the name of Assad. They need the justification for this war effort, for this war push. Again, it's the same reason, I've talked about this extensively, how the Paris attacks and the migrant crisis have tied into this geopolitical chess game and play right into Syria and has been a byproduct of this active Western-backed illegal destabilization effort. So Putin will respond, and I think he's too smart to respond overly. So I think that there's going to be some kind of aggressive, covert response from Putin and from the Russian government. And again, these types of events, folks, they make me extremely nervous. I think a lot of Americans, a lot of Europeans are going to read this story and go, ah, yeah, no big deal. Planes get shot down all the time. You know, this has happened before. I think the last time it's happened was like the 1950s or something when Turkey shot down, I believe it was a Russian plane. No, no, you would be grossly mistaken. This is a very serious event today, a very serious provocation, and it'll have grand repercussions. Again, watch very closely and read between the lines how Vladimir Putin and Russia respond to this U.S. attack, a U.S. covert downing of a Russian jet, and at least one of these pilots dead already. And, you know, of course, you know, Americans don't really care about Russians, right? They don't care when Russians, you know, Military personnel or civilians die, as was the case with the Metro Jet, where far more men, women, and children died on board that plane that was shot down in the Sinai Peninsula than the people that tragically died in the Paris attacks. Americans don't care. Europeans don't care because they've been propagandized to hate the enemy. We've de the American media, mainstream media, has dehumanized and demonized these people. I mean, you know, Americans look at it like, eh, you know, they deserved it. I, I said this in a, in a video not too long ago. But again, a very serious attack. It would be the equivalent of Russia shooting down an American plane in Syria. How do you think the United States would respond? And what's very dangerous about this is Vladimir Putin, Russia, Russia, and Russian media is playing a far superior chess game in this geopolitical war than the United States. And it's their next move. Read between the lines, folks. This was a covert act of the United States government to shoot down this plane to egg on the Russian bear that makes up President Vladimir Putin's government and Russia. And it is leading straight to the hell pit of war. I'm Christopher Green. Get this video out everywhere. Make it viral, hard hitting it in your face, and click the link below to support our sponsor.